The most common use of jar testing is to determine the appropriate use and dose of chemicals in water treatment. One objective of water treatment is clarification, the removal of the particulate matter in the water. Particles are removed both chemically through coagulation, flocculation, and sedimentation, and physically through filtration. Chemical treatment to remove particulate matter is usually achieved through the addition of coagulants. The coagulant combines with particles in the water to form a flock. These larger flock particles are easier and faster to remove in the settling basins. Any unsettled particles are now larger and more easily filtered out. Effective particle removal is dependent on the operator applying the right doses of the proper chemicals. At the proper dose, turbidity removal is maximized. Beyond this point, an increased chemical dose yields little additional turbidity removal. Simply adding more and more chemicals into the plant's water supply and expecting better treatment is not correct. The proper balance must be found. Optimizing treatment is the real point of jar testing. By using the jar tests, operators are able to experiment with different chemicals and doses. The basic jar test procedure involves collecting a sample of the raw water and adding progressively larger doses of the coagulant chemical to several jars of the sample. The results are used to identify the optimal dose for turbidity removal. Perform several calibration jar tests to ensure that the results will mirror the performance of the full-scale chemical treatment used in the plant. Adjust the stirring speed, length of the flash mix, flocculation, and settling intervals until the jar test conditions closely match those used in the full-scale plant. The energy transfer to the water in the jar by the stirrer will differ from that of the rapid mix and flocculation impellers in the plant, so detention time may differ in the jar test and scale calculations may be required. The intensity or speed of the mixing in the jar test should be set by the velocity gradient of the plant. The rotation speed in the jar test is correlated with what's used in design practice in mean velocity gradient or G value. In this case, G is an engineering term that describes the mixing intensity. The full-scale plant values are usually listed in the design specifications or plant operations manuals. The jar mixing speed or G value can then be adjusted to match this value. Additional information on correlation of velocity gradient can be found in AWWA Manual M12 Simplified Procedures for Water Examination and AWWA Manual M37 Operational Control of Coagulation and Filtration Processes.